Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to say a huge shout out to the people in my Discord server for helping me uh, figure out the suggestions to today's top 5. If you guys want to be part of it, make sure you guys click the link in the description below so you guys can join the Discord server and be part of all the things that happen in my community. You guys will be able to be the first people to be notified of my YouTube videos, any future streams on Twitch, etc. And also you guys will be able to submit any of your custom plushies for my custom showcase. And you guys can just chat and also help me out with future videos. That being said, thank you guys so much, and let's get right into the video. Salutation, Nick Rikis. Welcome back to another video, and today we are doing another top 10. And this top 10 was actually um, made by you guys from my Discord server. So make sure you guys click that link in the description below to enter my Discord server so you guys will be able to uh, be part of my videos like this again in the future. Now, with that being said, today we are doing top 10 FNAF characters that need a plush. And we're only talking about the brand Funko. I'm not talking about Sanchi or any of the unofficial brands because so you could probably find a plush for quite a bit of the characters. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video with number 10. Number 10, Endo O2. This one was recommended by Boingo. Now, Endo O2 is the more popular one of the Endo Skeletons due to it having a cooler design and just overall being better looking. This endoskeleton is the endoskeleton of the toy animatronics, and for, for such a simplistic character, it has still been getting a lot of love from the fans, and this piece of artwork that shows what the plush could look like, I would totally be down to see what Funko could do to make a nice replica of this plush, or just anything similar. If I saw an Endo O2 plush, I would totally purchase it, and Funko is missing out the opportunity. Number 9, Nightmare. This one was recommended by Golden Gamer. Nightmare is a very mysterious character in the FNAF community, and still not a lot of people know a, hell of a whole hell of a lot of this character. That being said, still one of the more popular characters in the franchise, as well as it owning not a lot of merch. So I think a lot of people would be very thrilled to see Funko finally throwing in the towel and just saying, alright, here you go, and just finally make the Nightmare plush that we've all been waiting for. I think they could do a really good job by just changing us a few things about the Nightmare Freddy design. Because... And knowing Funko, they're just going to be a little lazy about it, but as long as we got Nightmare, then I'm perfectly fine with it. Number 8, Shadow Bonnie. This one was recommended by my lovely girlfriend, MVP Shadow Wolf. Shadow Bonnie, being a more simplistic character, just being a black shadowy bunny, just with white eyes, would really make it easy and could just be like a nice like little single release like what they've been doing recently with uh, a few characters. And I think it would be a really good idea to throw this character into the ring. It would easily sell very fast and it wouldn't even take that long to manufacture. They could just use a toy bonnie base or even a spring bonnie base. But uh, just as long as we get the character, that's all I really care about. I think it would be really cool to have a shadow bonnie plush. Number 7, Plush Trap. This one was recommended by J-Boy, my lovely girlfriend and VP Shadow Wolf, and Nightmangle82. Plush Trap is the character that you see in the hallway in FNAF 4 with a minigame fun with Plush Trap. It does not have a lot of merch despite it being one of the more popular characters. It would be really cool to finally see this little guy get more merch and get more love. I'd really love to see a little plush of this guy for how adorable they could make uh, certain characters. They made Helpy really cute and I would really love to see them make a Plush Trap plush. I think it would be adorable. Number 6, Fredbear. This one was recommended by Shattuck. Fredbear being one of the most popular characters out there when it comes to the FNAF franchise, it would be very stupid not to make the Fredbear plush. It is very iconic in the whole franchise. And Funko is really missing an opportunity when all they need to do is just take a Freddy base and just change a few details and then boom, you have Fredbear. It would fly out the shelves super quick and a lot of fans would be extremely happy to finally have one of their favorite characters, especially one of their favorite plush bears in their hands. Number 5. Number 1 Crate. This one was recommended by Chicken Tandy Gaming. In the Pizzeria Simulator wave released by Funko, we got all the categories from the Rockstars, one of the Scraps which was Lefty, we got the Mediocre Melodies, and we even got the Posh Pizzeria. We didn't get any of Trash in the Game. So, Number 1 Crate being the most popular character from uh, trash in the game, which I think are some of the best characters in the whole franchise due to how silly and just cool they look. 
I think it'd be a great idea to make a really nice looking number one crate plush. A lot of people would be happy and finally we'd be able to be completing the set that we started so long ago. Number four, Nightmare Fredbear. This was recommended by MVP Shadow, my lovely girlfriend, and Dark Shattuck. Nightmare Fredbear is one of the cooler characters when it comes to design-wise. And I think Funko could do a great job making a really cool Nightmare Fredbear plush. And I think it would be a really nice single release that they could do just to make us fans happy. To fill in some of the blanks of the characters that they missed in previous waves. Yet again, if they wanted to go the lazy route, they could easily just to take the Nightmare Fredbear base and just modify it a little bit. Knowing them, that's probably what they do, but yet again, I would still be happy because at least we would be able to get some more Nightmare Fredbear merch. Unfortunately, it's very limited to what he has today. Number 3, Easter Bonnie. This one was recommended by Nightmangle82. Easter Bonnie, easily being one of the most popular FNAF AR characters like Freddy Frostbear, deserves a really good plush like they did to Choco Bonnie. Chocolate Bonnie, the plush that we got, was really good and was really incredible. Unfortunately, we got the worst one of the two. I like Easter Bonnie way more than I like Choco Bonnie. And I think it would be really cool to see what they could do to make a really nice looking Easter Bonnie plush. Number two, Molten Freddy. This one was recommended by Boingo. Molten Freddy, easily one of the most customized plushies out there. A lot of people just taking an entered body with a Funtime Freddy head and just making a few details to make a Molten Freddy plush. Very creative and very unique. Personally, I think the original body style would be the perfect way to make a Molten Freddy plush because I like that plush body a lot more than any of the others. I think it would just suit him a lot more and I just think it suits all the FNAF characters as plushies anyways. And the artwork shown here would be able to show on how well Funko could do this if they decide to not be as lazy as they usually are and just knock us out of the park with a really good plush like Molten Freddy. Number one, Withered Bonnie. This one was recommended by Shattuck and my lovely wife, MVP Shadow Wolf. Now, Withered Bonnie is easily the most recommended character to get a plush to date. Everyone's still asking for one, people are still asking where the Withereds are when it comes to plushies. And Wither Bonnie is the most popular one of the Withereds. So a lot of people would love to see the Wither Bonnie plush made. M me too, I would love to buy one for myself and actually own a Wither Bonnie plush. And Funko um, hopefully will make one very soon for them be saying previously that they would be making all the Withereds. So let's just pray that one day it will come. And that's going to do it for today's video. Huge shout out to the people who were able to be featured in today's video. Link in the description below to my Discord server so you guys will be able to check it out and also be part of future top 10s, etc, etc. But with that being said, I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below what characters you guys would want to see as plushies. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe to turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss a video from me. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll the credits.